Good morning, everybody. Jeremy, and Vivek, and all the people in the room. Uh, before I, uh, we start, let me just uh, uh, myself and uh, and my co-worker join everybody uh, for the condolences uh, for the big loss of Mark Jardison, uh, who has been a great friend and a pioneer in our field. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mark. So. Uh, Welcome back uh, again to uh, to our center. Uh, we we plan to uh, to do uh, two procedures uh, uh, today uh, by uh, closing uh, uh, the atrial appendage and in two patients uh, by using two uh, devices. Uh, actually, two devices uh, are quite similar, uh, but uh, still they they have some uh, uh, differences between uh, between them. Uh, let me, uh, can I have the first slide, please? I, I want to uh, thank uh, all the people in, uh, in the lab, uh, all my co-workers, the new staff, the technicians, uh, echocardiographists, and uh, also the anesthesiologists. So um, uh, let's proceed. Can I have the next slide, please? So uh, just to, uh, for the time's sake, uh, I, I want to I wanna summarize uh, just the, the two devices that we are going to uh, use uh, today. The device number one on your left hand and device number two on your right hand. The two devices uh, comprise the two components. Uh, we have uh, one lobe and uh, one disc. And uh, the uh, size of the two devices are quite similar between 16 and 36 millimeters. And even, uh, even the landing zone are quite similar between uh, uh, the two uh, devices. The two devices are currently uh, available in uh, Europe. And uh, we, uh, just to show you uh, the uh, positioning uh, of each of uh, uh, these devices. Uh, as far as the, uh, the anchoring systems, uh, uh, in device one, uh, you might appreciate we have uh, uh, two components, uh, the small hooks uh, at the most distal portion, uh, okay, the, the most distal portion on the umbrella, when the umbrella is uh, fully open. And then uh, we have a, a, a tiny uh, shape ends, uh, which are intended uh, to be uh, atraumatic, uh, not uh, promoting any, any tissue uh, lesions in the atrial appendage, but just pushing and the uh, trabeculation uh, of, the, uh, of the structure. Uh, while in device two, uh, we have uh, just uh, uh, 10 hooks, uh, uh, positioning at the lobe uh, of the uh, device, and uh, obviously when uh, the uh, positioning is done uh, in uh, in uh, in these patients, uh, uh, dual anti platelet therapy has to be uh, kept for uh, uh, at least uh, 45, 60 uh, days. Next slide, please. Right. So let me just add uh, a few uh, special uh, features of device one, uh, which uh, is. Uh, uh, suitable to uh, different atrial uh, appendage anatomies. Uh, the device is positioned by using a, a delivery sheet between 10 and, and 10 French. And uh, we have uh, uh, two uh, different sizes that we can use uh, uh, in accordance uh, uh, to the anatomy of the left atrial appendage. If we need to approach a single lobe uh, uh, umbrella, uh, could be between the uh, 16 and uh, 36 millimeter, and the ISCA work is recommended to be between four and uh, six millimeter larger than umbrella. Instead, uh, if we had to uh, close up an appendage with multiple lobes, uh, it's recommended to use a, a smaller uh, umbrella, uh, but the cover, the disc, uh, has to be uh, larger, at least 12, 14 millimeter uh, larger than uh, umbrella. So that means that probably the device uh, may be uh, really uh, helpful in uh, those circumstances with uh, restricted septum and even uh, in the small left atrial appendage. Now, uh, next slide, please. Okay, let me just summarize uh, the, uh, the case number one. Uh, uh, this is a, a nice uh, lady, 78 uh, years. Uh, with the previous uh, hepatitis uh, and uh, uh, with the an evolution uh, in uh, cirrhotic disease. Uh, and unfortunately, with the endosophageal viruses uh, uh, responsible uh, for uh, major bleedings uh, uh, in, uh, in the last few years. Uh, 
Uh, also, the patient uh, is uh, well known for a chronic atrial fibrillation uh, since uh, 2008, uh, and uh, she suffers also from sclerodermia. So uh, I think that um, this is a, a typical candidate uh, uh, suitable for uh, atrial appendage. Uh, and uh, uh, another uh, feature that I'd like to uh, highlight for today is the fact that when uh, uh, the uh, varieties uh, in the esophagus uh, uh, are uh, uh, documented, there's a high risk to mechanical ventilation. So we have elected not to use uh, the uh, TEE, but the eyes. And uh, if, you, uh, if you have the chance, uh, could you just uh, uh, see on the, now we are, uh, on the, on the eyes uh, in the left atrium. So we, we cross the septum uh, uh, one time uh, with the uh, transethyl assembly, and then we, we cross uh, again uh, with the uh, transducer of the eyes uh, in order just to have uh, a good view of the atrial appendage uh, and uh, uh, take uh, measurement. So, so Claudio, Claudio is, uh, very, hold on yeah. one second. Just it's a very nice case. I want to see if someone in the audience or uh, in the panel. I can, so, I can Doc, hear you, uh, Musa. Uh, Doc, Claudio, I'm saying we have some questions here. So, Doc Packer has a question. So, my question is, uh, it looks like you've got fairly small sheaths here, but do they have single or double bands on the tips, or do you just use a standard straight-in sheath? With some uh, of the, with some uh, of the. Uh, unfortunately, I. I, I didn't hear your question. Uh, I, I have so uh, bad noise in my, my ear. Uh. Uh, let me try one more time, and that's what's the shape of the sheath? Does this have a, okay. is it straight? Is it single curve? Is it double curve? No. Are you able uh, to do it? Uh, this, is a, this is a double curve, Doug. Uh, the, the first curve is at 45 uh, degrees and the second one at uh, 30 degrees. And uh, we have uh, chosen uh, just a, a double curve uh, just in accordance to uh, the, the, the anatomy of the, uh, of the appendage. It's a, you know, coli uh, flower-like. And so uh, we, we thought that it was a uh, better uh, to use a, a double curve uh, than uh, uh, the, uh, the single curve. Any, any questions from the audience? Okay. So, Claudio, uh, I, I, it seems uh, that you did an angiogram. Can you tell us about yeah. uh, the anatomy of the appendage, uh, what you saw, and how that helped you to decide on the size of the device, and what's the plan? Yeah. For okay, uh, right. Um, uh, we have the chance to, uh, to show you uh, the uh, angiogram of the left atrial appendage, uh, and uh, uh, we, we have a, a, a measure uh, between 21 and 22 uh, millimeter at the base of the left atrial appendage that was confirmed uh, uh, also at the, at the eyes. And then uh, uh, I have, uh, I have a, another uh, feature just uh, to no, show I'm you guys. Uh, if, need me to if we, if we can, move uh, over I, here I, with I, the I, camera, I can uh, also, what we have done uh, is, is a, it's a, a treaty uh, treating uh, the, uh, of the yeah. let no, atrial appendage. Here is uh, muted. I'm going to mute now again, okay? Uh, that uh, was uh, rendered from the uh, pre acquired CT scan. So we, we had the also uh, to confirm uh, uh, the size of the device uh, uh, by using uh, the 3D uh, printing of the left atrial appendage. And now we show you uh, how to uh, measure the uh, device size. Uh, so again, Cl Claudio, again, Cl Claudio what, what you're showing us here is uh, a 3D printout of this particular patient, yeah. correct? And if, correct. Yes, right. and if yes, is this something you routinely do on each patient to, this, to help you decide on the size and the type of the device? Or is this something particular about this case because you cannot do a TE uh, on her, for example? Right, right. Well, it's, it's not on, on, a, on a, you know, daily practice, but... Uh, Actually, uh, we uh, usually decide uh, based upon on the pre-acquired CT scan, 
if we have uh, some doubts uh, concerning uh, uh, the anatomy on the sides, uh, we like uh, to have the 3D printing uh, as well. But it was nice just to, uh, to show yeah, you. Please, please uh, go ahead, yes. Okay, so I think that we are just ready just to, uh, uh, to show you uh, the uh, movement of the, of the device. So we are ready just in the left atom, obviously. And, uh, okay, uh, okay I know just on my side, just is moving uh, uh, the, the guide wire uh, just in, uh, inside the, uh, the appendage. Now, uh, the introducer, the sheath, is just uh, uh, close to, uh, to uh, the entrance uh, of, the, uh, of the left atrial appendage. Uh, we can uh, we can also show the eyes. I mean, just we have a chance. I mean, just to, to show the eyes, please. It would be nice because uh, we have a, a wonderful uh, view of the appendage, uh, and uh, I hope that you can appreciate the sheet uh, at your left end, just uh, at the mouth of the of the left atrial appendage. Can you can you uh, just uh, put the camera there? Okay, good, great. You have it. So I think that we are. Uh, ready just to go. Uh, I'm just, you know, holding the, the sheet uh, at the end of the left. Uh, just let me um, add uh, something else. I mean, this is a, a completely retractable and recatchable uh, device uh, due uh, to uh, the, the U-shaped uh, hook that I showed you before. Check, uh, now, I mean, just... Uh, uh, I'm keeping the, I'm keeping the, uh, holding like that. I mean, just, and uh, Gaetano is just advancing one of the loads. Could you just uh, reduce the, the light, please? We just, uh, and uh, also, uh, Gaetano is maneuvering the, the eye just to, uh, to show the location of the, of the lobe uh, inside the, I think that we are ready just to <coughs> open the, the disc. Uh, so I pull the, uh, the sheet back while Gitano is holding, okay? Now, uh, one of the, one of the features of the, of the device uh, is just to, uh, uh, to have a, a, a concave uh, uh, shape uh, of, the, of the cover. And also you, you have a nice view of the eyes uh, with the cover that is sealing uh, uh, the entrance of the left of the that we are just trying just to show you. Claudio, can you show us, uh, can you uh, blow up uh, the ice image so we can see where yeah. the... I mean, Gatano, yeah, Gatano is just is moving, just trying just to, uh, to have the, uh, the nice uh, view that we had before. Actually, the ice uh, uh, moved a little bit when I, uh, when I uh, pushed the, the device uh, into the appendage. Uh, Hopefully, I mean, just we are going just to, to show you on the eyes the same uh, view that we had before. And uh, we are closer. Yeah, there it is. It's always interesting on the ice in the left atrium, you get such good views. But you also are oh, so yeah, close to the appendage, you have to move back away. <laughs> yeah. You post your deflection sometimes. These are the right things. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying just to, you know, I, I just moved the eyes when I, when I moved the, the sheet down. Gatan is just trying just to regain the same position. It's okay, Claudio, if while he's working on it, if you're gonna show us back uh, yeah. the, ex, the NGO, so at this stage, what do you do? Do you inject, uh, do you do a left yeah, uh, atrial angiogram to see we how... We inject an angiogram and then we... Stefan, just let us know when you're ready to come back up. Okay, we are just uh, ready just to, to show you the angio, and then uh, we, uh, we're gonna do the, the target test just for... Uh... Okay. Okay, this is the angio. Um, I think that, I mean, just as opposed to other devices, uh, you know, uh, when you have a really good ceiling of the, of the appendage, you don't have a, any uh, contrast just going 
uh, to uh, the device, and I think that is really uh, a good position. Uh, we are trying just so um, to give you an eye view if we if we can, because uh, uh, I I think that when when we had positioned the uh, the device, uh, we had a really a very good view. Otherwise, we're gonna gonna do the tracking test and then uh, to uh, deploy definitely uh, the device. So. So the, the, angio the angiogram looks, uh, looks uh, very nice. So at this stage, uh, what are the things that you want to watch for before you uh, disengage um, the wire that connects to the device? You do, obviously, you want to well, do uh, some <coughs> little tug on it, and then... Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to do just a tug test. Tug test. And uh, one, uh, one, one thing uh, just to, uh, to, uh, to have a, a, a almost a rectangular uh, shape of the uh, of the lobe. I just uh, okay. Now we are just tagging. Okay, look, uh, we are tagging, and uh, you can appreciate really the good uh, uh, the good. I mean, just uh, anchoring uh, of the device uh, into uh, the lateral appendage. Claudio, you have one more minute. So. Um, it's, uh, everything uh, so far is going nice. I want to see if uh, you have any questions. So, Dr. Packard has a question. What is your effusion rate with this system? Because it, it looks to me around the left atrial appendage, you've got some fluid. Uh, I, I just uh, 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 heard uh, your, your first part of the question, but I mean. Uh, I will repeat the, the question. What is the rate of what is the rate of pericardial effusion with this device? Uh, on some of the images, there appears to be a little bit of fluid around the appendage. We don't know if that's a baseline or, or something that... Uh, with the baseline, yes, with the baseline. Yeah, right, I mean, just... But the, the rate of the effusion is it, it just, uh, you know, less or around just 0.5%, uh, 1%, not more than that. This is our experience with the device. All right, Claudio, do you want to uh, do your testing and disengage? We, we have less than uh, 30 seconds here left. Okay, let's let, let just uh, uh, deploy definitely the, uh, the, append the uh, device. Okay, we are ready. I didn't see that. We, we have just to unlock. Uh, okay, we're just. Uh, no, 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 not yet. No, don't switch yet, please. Okay, here we go. All right, so it looks good. Okay. Staying in place. All right, okay, I'll try Claudio is very nice, very nice uh, case.